here is yeah, Mike. Yeah, for sure. So anyways, hey, it's great to be here. Just finished the first cup of coffee this morning. The only thing I got to do is work on clocking the sleep schedule back from nights into the mornings. But I've always been kind of an early riser. I have only sleep about five and a half hours a day. So it's great to be on the morning show here with you guys. And just so you know, Anthony that was here in the mornings, he's going to be covering the evening shift. He's a very good meteorologist, very well spoken. And I think that's going to work out great for him as well. So it's, it's good for everybody. And uh, hopefully we're all happy and we're ready to roll and talk weather forecast details right now. So welcome to a Monday morning, everybody. Quiet conditions out there. If you've been listening the last 90 minutes for Candace, she's been saying there's really not much going on. Indeed, this is going to be a very quiet week weather wise. And that's OK. We need those once in a while. You can see there's nothing on radar. We pull out to a little bit wider perspective. There's a weak cold front off here to our north and west. Very, very little moisture. And in fact, we're not looking for any rain. This week is going to be dry, actually, I think. Uh, and we're actually going to be warming up in temperatures. We do have a tropical storm. This is tropical storm beta down here over southeastern Texas. Probably going to make landfall much later today or in the overnight hours tonight. The biggest concern for these folks down here is going to be maybe another foot of rain. That's on top of the rain that Sally delivered last week for some of these locations. So Candace is going to be talking more about that coming up in a couple of blocks of our news. And then I'll be looking more at the rainfall totals coming up over the next half hour to 40 minutes as well. Our current temperatures, we've all slipped into the 40s right now. We're 46 in GR, 42 up there in uh, Big Rapids, 46 in Kalamazoo. We should climb to around 70, 72 degrees today. So here is your Monday planner. This is the last officially full day of summer because fall officially arrives in here tomorrow morning. We're in the mid 40s at 7 a.m. there for you folks uh, that are going to get going here to work or school and kind of a smoky haze will return to our skies because of the West Coast wildfires. We kind of uh, kind of thin that out of the atmosphere. We've got a lot of blue sky and sunshine, but now we're going to see that return. And again, we're shooting for highs up around 70, 72 with a south southeast wind at about 6 to 12 miles per hour. The rest of your weekly forecast is coming up in just a few minutes, guys. Let's now take a look at our Monday morning traffic. Here's Rob Westerby.